I'm Crystal, and for the past six weeks, I've been taking my time and soaking up all the beauty and lessons of the Camino Francis. I'm really learning mind over matter. Every day I get closer to Santiago de Compostela, and now that most of the initial physical pain is gone, I can't bend my toe anymore. I can really lean into the joy of this experience. Yeah! This week on the vlog, I finally enter Galicia, an incredibly gorgeous section of the Camino de Santiago. But to get there, I have one last major climb to O Sobrero. This is known as one of the hardest days on the Camino, and I'm up for the challenge. Okay, here we go. Though, the hardest part isn't actually the climb. Oh my God. <coughs> Let's see what happens. This is Van Hala Adventures. Buen Camino. So this is a new development. Like my hair is splitting on top. I've never had that happen. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, either way, good morning, everybody. My friend that I met maybe a week ago, I don't even think I've introduced her to you all yet, but you'll meet her today. Uh, she texted me on WhatsApp and apparently she had to stop the Camino temporarily because her she has what she thinks is a stress fracture. Something was going on and she was told she couldn't walk for a week. So today I'm on the way to go meet her, to bring her some stuff so that she can tape herself up and hopefully start walking and just be her support system for a few days. And so thankfully she had my number and stuff. It can be scary if something happens to you and you're alone out here. Actually, I take that back. I wouldn't say it's scary because there's plenty of pilgrims. Everybody's willing to help. So I'm gonna go meet her, bring her some stuff. It's white chocolate orange. I know, right? Oh my God. I have Shay here with me today. Hi. <laughs> my Australian friend. Um, I had t too much wine yesterday. <laughs> I basically ordered, Shay ordered a beer yesterday in a big pint. And I said, oh yeah, grande wine. And she actually did it. I <laughs> So I had a pint of wine and then I continued to have more wine. That's not something I do. So I'm still feeling a little, and today's supposed to be one of the hardest days on the, on the Camino, right? Right, Shay, that correct? One of the hardest days, supposedly. Um, since, since the Pyrenees and it's the biggest mountain left before the end. And I'm taking it on horseback. <laughs> Cause Shay's smart. <laughs> Whereas I had all my wine last night and now I'm going up the mountain by myself. Buenos dias. This morning we are leaving Lyon and going to O Sobrero and that will officially be in Galicia. <laughs> horse ride so it's just me now it's been really nice walking with her but I'm on my own for the rest of this today wish me luck everybody because I am not feeling my best this morning <laughs> a little too much wine last night that's not my smartest move it tasted buenos dias it tasted so good kind of kicking myself in the butt for doing that Okay, here we go. So Spain is a little different than the US, but you're supposed to walk on the left-hand side of the road. Otherwise, drivers may yell at you about being on the right. So always walk on the left-hand side, unless of course the trail specifically says, generally always walk on the left. I'm not sure which one, but we're going up that. Have that right there. Pretty sure it's one of those. I'm excited actually. Okay. Just about to head up the mountain. 
I'm gonna get my poles out, make this a little easier on myself. So grateful for hiking poles right now. It is currently 9.45. Definitely left later than I wanted to because I wasn't feeling that great this morning. Six kilometers up. I think it's supposed to be about 2200 elevation. Feel confident I can get up there by one. Yeah, that feels pretty good, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Shay will be waiting for me up there. I'm sure she'll be having a nice relaxing time. Okay, here we go. Ben Camino. Officially at the point of no turning back. The road ended right back there. Now we're on trail. So no taxi, nothing. Just gotta trust. <laughs> I can do this and I trust that. <laughs> Just, oh look, another, or as Val would say, another fucking hill. <laughs> hey Val, how are you feeling about those hills? Another fucking hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's no joke. Oh my God. <sighs> There's literally fresh horse droppings everywhere. And they smell so pungent. Oh. Uh, really, oh there's not much more of that. Whoa. Besides the horse. Shit. This is quite lovely. <laughs> In terms of how it looks. I think this is very steep. I just heard a cow. Just really hope it's an offense. All these cows have freaking horns. They have horns. And let's just say I am fucking terrified of them right now. I'm just not gonna look their way. I'm not a fan of them at all. Just to be clear. Oh man. I can already smell more horse shit. This smells terrible. I don't even know what they're feeding these horses but it is a rank man oh oh my god it's like a minefield oh how much can these things poop oh my god and there's all these flies oh I think Shay made the right choice. Shay, it's probably your horse that's doing this. I feel like this is not funny. Oh my God. I think you made the right choice. Oh, sweet. About one third up the mountain. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> this has been a really nice little break, but I'm only one third up the hill, and I'm sure Shay is already at the top, probably already enjoying a cerveza. So, so I just hope there's no more horse shit. Okay, so that first third took me just about an hour. This next one, I feel like probably about an hour, but just to keep track, 
we caught all the flies. Whoa. Um, it's 11.10, just started. Goal is to be done by noon because then I'll take a small break. And then the next place, that way I can be up there to meet Shay by one. Oh, oh my God, more horse shit. What the heck? I mean, look. into words how beautiful this landscape is wow getting into Galicia oh, I can't believe I'm in Spain right now in case you're wondering still going uphill <laughs> really regretting starting so late. It's hot. Mucho calor. Oh, man. That sun is relentless. And it's not even noon. I should have started earlier. I don't know why. I woke up at 5 a.m. Just couldn't get out of bed. Or I just didn't. I could have. The climb, honestly, not bad. It's just the heat. Okay. Keep going. <sighs> Hola. That's Shay's horse. <laughs> okay, now I know Shay has definitely done an up at the top waiting for me. They're also the reason why the trail smells. Nice, quick little break. Actually, it wasn't quick. I actually was there probably there for about 30 minutes, but enough time to do my exercises. And it feels really good. If I do those, my feet and my calves are so much better. I feel really good. I feel definitely like refreshed. Last little bit. I think it'll, I'm guessing it'll probably take me about 45 minutes. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going somewhere there. Actually in Galicia, everybody. Boom! Yeah! I thought. Yeah, baby. I have to admit, Castilla y Leon went on forever. <laughs> forever. I felt like we were, I was never gonna get out of there. Woo! Yeah. High five, everybody. Woo! Look who it is. <laughs> It's a Shay. We made it. <laughs> um, as we all know, Shay yeah. <laughs> did horseback. So I'm walking up. The first part of it, there's just tons of horse shit. Tons. And horse urine. Yes. And I nearly have vomited all over and completely <laughs> lost it all over the trail. And I was like, I bet this is Shay's horse. I just know it. <laughs> when my horse did her do? Yeah. Even the girls behind were like, oh my God. <laughs> and then there were flies. Yes. And you know they had just landed on it. 
And then they were like in my face and I was like, oh God, if I get like a pink eye. <laughs> I, Blame it on Bunny. I, I, <laughs> Is that your horse's name? Bunny, yes. <laughs> I'm playing it on Bunny. But it was, it was really beautiful though. Don't get me wrong. It was really beautiful, everybody. It was a great day. If I was going to do it again, I'd probably go the, the morning before the horses. How was the ride besides all the shit? <laughs> uh, it was good. Definitely worth it. I do wish I could have walked, but oh, my butt sore. <laughs> when I got off the horse, I thought, oh, my foot's going to be really sore. But no, like my legs went all jelly and I was walking like this. And I turned around and said to the lady, I've always wanted a thigh gap, I've got it now. <laughs> Have you been doing that? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is beautiful. I made this for you while I waited. You did? You made this? <laughs> I made this. <laughs> what a great landscape artist you are. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, we did it, Jay. Yes. We did it. I feel two pretty al confident. Two alternative routes, but both just as good as the other. Yeah. I could see doing it. I mean, I really was like, I feel like I should have taken the horse for a hot minute. Once <laughs> I saw the shit, Sorry, I knew it. <laughs> Yay! I <laughs> 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 <laughs>